Good evening and welcome. I am Amarachi Ubani. Tonight, four days after federal government issued directives on new pump price for fuel, only major marketers seem to be complying. Lagos and Aquaibom State hold special Thanksgiving services to usher in 2016. Governor Idris Wada of Kogi State sets up handover committee as he counts down to his exit from office. And Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei warns Saudis face uh, divine revenge for executing Al Nimr. We begin tonight uh, with a fact-finding mission on compliance on the new pump price of petrol across the country. While petrol is selling at between 86 Naira and 86 Naira 50 Kobo in Abuja, the product is selling for 87 Naira per litre in Kano State. Oil majors in Lagos have reverted to the, to the approved rate of 86 Naira 50 Kobo, but the same may not be said of independent marketers who are still selling above the recommended retail price. Our correspondent Chris Elems reports. Fuel stations in Lagos dispensing product to motorists on queue. The situation seems calm, indicating availability of petrol at 86 Naira 50 Kobo per litre, which is the new government approved pump price. This no doubt gladdens the motorists, including those traveling down from other states. From Imo to Delta, to Edo, the price is at 130, 140. It's only here and uh, part of uh, Ijebu that I got at 87 pump price, government regulated pump price. So it is highly ridiculous. Most people are stuck on the road because they could not afford to feed their tank any longer. I was coming from my suburb. Uh, if the station would jam me, the, uh, that side is 140. Then they use asset, take the tap arm, give you. And asset, they take the calculator, but the meter is already 87. Oh. But they will use our set to tap and give you. From on those state, Akoko, we buy 130 for a litre. Or 130. Or shoe, that's the key, 120 per litre. Now only Lagos with the buy 86.5 per litre. Meanwhile, in neighboring Ogun State, the situation cannot be said to be the same as residents complain of exploitation in spite of government order for compliance with a new pump price. They told me it's one and ten naira, and I can't move with an empty tank. I have to buy. These people, they are not selling the, the actual amount uh, we are expecting from them. But for, for what is going on in Nigeria now, I think they are, they are exhausting us, in which it's, supposed, it's not supposed to be like that. However, in the Federal Capital Territory, petrol stations are nearly empty. At the NMPC filling station, pump price is 86 Naira per litre. The price remains 86 Naira 50 Kobo at some of the major marketers visited. And the motorists see these as a sign of good things to come. Since we are still seeing the fuel freely like this and there's no more, no more queue again, I'm so happy and I'm glad that Nigeria is getting better. Sometimes you have to queue from morning till night. You didn't get the fuel. It is in a higher price. But now it is in a lower price and you can get it anywhere. You, any place you enter, you can buy it. In Anambra State, however, filling stations still have their prices fixed at 130 naira per litre. While this remains the same in some of the eastern states, a few of the dealers in Lagos express satisfaction with supplies and hope it is sustained. We do sell every day. And, we are, and as from January 1st, we sell it. It is now 50 over per litre. Why is it a bit scarce now, you know? Government has reduced the price to it's six hundred fifty kobo, and there are some who has the, the old stocks we like to dispose. And then, since our marketers has complied to give us at the government price, we don't have an option than to sell at it's six hundred fifty kobo. I just want government to continue to um, impress on NNPC to keep supplying us. As the new year unfolds, Nigerians would be delighted to experience an era when availability of petroleum products is guaranteed and a price reduction no doubt will be an added advantage. Chris Elems, Channels Television News. 
Meanwhile, the Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria is opposing the sale of refineries as suggested by the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria. A Pengerson describes the call by Ipman as a fraudulent way of ripping the country of its national assets and sabotaging national interests. According to Pengerson, Nigerians need to ask the Ipman leadership why they're calling for the sale of the refineries, which are set to now be in good form, even after the government has shown that the refineries can work and take care of 75% of the nation's local demand of refined products. Pengerson also says we are again demanding adequate and regular supply of crude oil to the four refineries to alleviate the suffering of Nigerians and a reduction or elimination of subsidy payments considering the plunge in global oil prices. Fire stations are to be established close to filling stations in order to prevent recurring fire incidents in the country. The Minister of Interior, Abdurrahman Dembazao, announced this during an assessment tour of the Christmas Eve gas plant explosion in Newi Anambra State. The minister explained that the implementation of the 2016 budget will incorporate public safety measures. Uh, it's unfortunate that it happened, uh, but we will take all the necessary measures to ensure that uh, things like that don't happen again in the future. And that's why I came along with me, the Controller General of Federal Fire Service and also the Controller General of Civil Defense. Uh, as you know, the Ministry of Interior uh, is in charge of every aspect of public safety and security within the country and uh, it is our responsibility to ensure that uh, the public is safe and uh, the guarantee security is guaranteed. We turn to other issues. About 700 illegal migrants are being repatriated from Gabon to Nigeria for not having valid travel documents. The migrants, mainly from Nigeria, Mali, Togo, Senegal, Niger, Guinea Conakry, and other African countries, were received in Calabar, the Cross River State capital. The state controller of the Nigeria Immigration Service, Funke Adoyi, confirmed that the deportees have been in their custody and will be transported to their countries of origin. Men, women and children sit in almost helplessly with their luggage scattered everywhere. These are migrants from Nigeria, Mali, Togo, Senegal, Niger Republic, Guinea and other African countries who have been repatriated from Gabon. According to the State Controller of the Nigerian Immigration Service who received the deportees at the Inland Waterways Jetty in Calabar, 697 ECOWAS nationals and one Congolese were deported by the Gabon government. We have worked around the clock to raise personal logistics to support them. We, we, we brought water, bread and a lot of welfare, privileges for the children. In fact, amongst them we have 68 children. We have not received any other support from any agency. Sema and Nema were contacted, we did not re receive any support. We just thank God that uh, we were able to cope with the little resources that we were able to gather. The Council General of Senegal, whose nationals were among the deportees, appreciated the Nigerian government for the concern shown to the migrants. The Nigerian uh, government have helped a lot uh, because uh, we had uh, people who almost lost their life in the, in the sea and uh, uh, they have been rescued and they have been uh, welcomed here in, in Calabar. Uh, even uh, health uh, services has been deployed to, to help them. So we are very thankful as uh, you know, ECOWAS representatives here. The deportees recount what they describe as the unpleasant treatment meted out to foreigners by the Gabonese government directly to their home countries without burdening Nigeria unnecessarily. We, we have paper. They say do paper. We get them. But Gabonese come, return them. In, if you, if you, we, we, we want to say Africa president, a West Africa president, return all Gabonese somewhere they, where they, they go to school for university from our country. Every Gabonese return for Gabon. Have any paper, every paper, but Gabonese. He refused to uh, accept West Africa people. This is not the first time migrants have been dumped on Nigeria, regardless of whether or not they are Nigerians. 
The government has to persuade African neighbors to send illegal migrants directly to their home countries without burdening Nigeria unnecessarily. Some politics now. The All Progressives Congress has lashed out at the People's Democratic Party over what it says have been unguarded statements and abuses heaped on the party's leadership and the president of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari. In an exclusive interview with Channel's Television in Benin, the Edo State Capital, National Chairman of the party, Chief John Yegun, warned the PDP to stop calling the president names and learn how to be an opposition political party. He said the party will not tolerate situations where the PDP makes abusive statements disrespecting the office of the president. In a democratic setting, we obviously need an opposition party. Uh, I am praying that uh, they can find their proper bearing and become, rather than a shrill critic, uh, sometimes very elementary, sometimes very abusive, sometimes very insulting and sometimes totally thoughtless. Uh, they will settle down one day to becoming a responsible opposition with alternative concrete ideas that will help this nation. Right now they are just still thrashing about, still uh, smarting from the massive defeat that they are suffering, that they suffered and they are still suffering. You can't beat a child and tell the child not to cry. But I think when the noise starts getting too much, then uh, we need to call them to, uh, to order. Right now, they're a bit shrill, they're a bit discordant, they're a bit unfocused, and uh, they're not doing themselves any credit at all. For nobody can describe them today as a responsible opposition. No? The APC National Chairman Chief John Uyegun, in part two after the break. Borno State Government to construct trenches around vulnerable communities to wade off attacks by insurgents. That's in a moment. Please stay with us.